The word dumplings, or jiaozi in Chinese, sounds like the name for the period of the day from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. and has the connotations of celebration, festivity, and luck. There are many legends about eating dumplings, especially on the occasion of the Spring Festival. One of them concerns Jiang Zhongjing, a famous physician of ancient times. Mentioning dumplings, there's a story. At the winter solstice one year, I saw a strange thing when I was passing Nanyang on my way home. The people here seem to be in some kind of distress. What has happened? Don't you know? A sudden gale struck this area a few days ago. Many people have frostbite and some have typhoid fever. But there are few doctors or medicines in this area. As a result, many people have died. If this terrible situation continues, how can we celebrate the Spring Festival? Jiang Zhongjing was determined to help the local people overcome this calamity. He had mastered the medical knowledge of his time and soon found a way to help them. Jiang Zhongjing built a booth in which he set up a big cauldron to boil mutton soup. He added some hot pepper and certain herbs for dispelling humidity. Jiang put the meat on flower wrappings and folded each of them into the shape of an ear. He then boiled them in water and sent them to the poor people together with the soup. The local people ate them from the winter solstice to the eve of the spring festival and miraculously recovered from the afflictions of the bitterly cold winter. In memory of Jiang Zhongjing, the local people made similar dumplings or ear-shaped dumplings generation after generation. Now it has become a custom all over China to eat such dumplings at the Spring Festival, the traditional Chinese New Year Day.